that and where do you stand in the coaching situation? We have not met yet. Um, Thank you. you know, our discussions have been honest, straightforward. I look forward to talking to the group further. We'll see where it goes from there. You hope to meet with Rob today? Uh, probably in the near future. Uh, I won't say today, but uh, here in the very near future, uh, we'll have further uh, discussions. Uh, we'll see where it goes from there, but uh, it's been a great experience. Uh, I've loved every second of it. I've gotten better. This is only uh, laid a great foundation for me moving forward, whether it's here or elsewhere. Uh, but I love this group. I love what this group stands for, the organization. I love the vision. I see where this thing is headed. I, I do. I have a clear uh, perspective of that. Uh, there's really nobody in the league that knows this group better than I do. But we'll take a few few days, a week, two, reflect on this, see where it goes. Um, boy, it's been a wonderful experience. I'm really proud of our group, what we've done, what we've accomplished. Uh, to have the lead in 20 of 30 games in the fourth quarter at some period for a young group under these situations, um, really proud of them. Would, proud of you, would you like to have an answer? At soon just so you could move on or if it's here or, or somewhere else so your own person even though you're under contract for another year I'm at peace where I'm at um, I'm in no hurry my family's in a great position we love Orlando I'm in no hurry for an answer but um, I'll have my time and um, I have a clear picture of what this place could look like what our group could look like, uh, both in the immediate and into the future. Would you like to see what you could do with this group with, a, with an off season and a, and, a, and a training camp and all of that next year? I'm proud of what we've done in the 30 games and under these uh, circumstances with a full, a full staff, a full summer, a full training camp, I think we could see an even deeper growth uh, and I'd love an opportunity to have that uh, and you know I think we've made some major strides in a short amount of period with limited practice limited time I think we've changed this thing and, uh, but we'll need a full summer a full training camp uh, there's things that I'd love to build on to change move the group forward and I believe I can do that. James, when you've met with players, what's your message been? Has it been about individual improvement can lead to team improvement? It's been both. It's, it's what we can do individually, you know, what those areas are. The biggest thing we can do is get better uh, individually, work on our skills, uh, get into the gym, uh, and really use this summer as a stepping stone. But we also have to get better as a group. And as a group, we have to spend time together. We have to bond. The chemistry has to grow. Um, so it's a twofold thing. The guys are on board. They're great workers. The one thing I'll, I'll say that the group, the men that we have in that locker room will work. They are coachable. And this summer is a huge part of that for them. Coach, what's the difference between this team and a winning team? Well, I mean, you know. Every, every time we step on the floor, we have to believe we can win. And I think we're starting to see that. This group feels there's a plan in place to succeed. And our job now is to get better as individuals and as a team. And as I said to the group, that doesn't just happen. You have to go make it happen. And just because we have another year under our belt or another guy, a guy is now a, a sophomore as opposed to a rookie, that doesn't equal wins. You have to put the time in. And that starts with, you know, today, getting better, having a focus moving into the summer, having a plan for the summer. And over a period of time, you start to see signs of growth. And I think we have seen signs. Now this summer has to, we have to take an enormous step here this summer and get better. James, is this talk you're gonna have with Rob, typical end of the season, 
discuss the you know the status of each, the qualities of each player type thing, or is it a formal interview? You know, as far as I know, from our discussions, my, my discussions with Rob, I will have a shot to interview for the job. To me, that's specific about being a candidate for the job, going after the job, having a clear vision of what I see for this program. To me, that's very clear. You you mean in the past when he has said that you would be considered for the job, but you haven't been told that after the season yet, though. I mean, where if they have made a another decision. As far as I know, I will have my time to interview for this position. As far as I. Know. What did you learn from the 30 games about yourself and then what it takes to be a head coach in the NBA? Well, we'd be here a while, but you know, I've learned a lot about myself. Um, the strength, uh, the confidence it takes to lead a group, how important accountability is. Um, and I think we've tried, that's where we've been fair with our group. We've held them accountable and we've loved them at the same time. And that's where this league find success and as a group we have to have a clear plan about what we believe in what we stand for and I have those areas now I, I see what I stand for I know what I stand for as a coach and now it's putting that into place full term we've sort of had to piece it together over a short period but I understand who I am as a coach I understand who this team is I understand who they can be and now it's putting that vision into place over a course of a, a summer, uh, a training camp, and a full season. And I found a confidence about myself. Uh, thrown into the fire, uh, I was just in survival mode early on. And it really hardened me, it strengthened me, it pushed me uh, to really understand who I was, what I believed in as a, as a coach, as a person. And it's led me to today. And no matter what happens, this experience will lead me and uh, really build a foundation for me, and it's really changed my entire career. What do you think this team needs to add personnel-wise? I mean, you've seen, you know, the strengths and weaknesses of this team better than any of us. If you were, if you were the GM, what, what would you go out and get this, this offseason? You know, that's a tough question. I mean, we we're, we can we can speculate on a lot. The, the one thing I'll say is. We have pieces in place right now. The things that we can control with our group, we, we control this summer. And that's getting better individually. Those, the group of men, we don't know what draft pick we're gonna have. We don't know what free agent's gonna be available. But what we can control is getting better as a, as a group, as individuals. And that's our focus right now. That's the plan right now for me and for our, our entire group is the men that are coming back next year have to get better. That's where the focus is. That's that's what my uh, attention is is on right now. Um, you know, the free agency, the draft pick stuff. We're going to have to work through. That's an entire process. Um, but what I can say is, the men that we do have in that locker room have to get better, and we will get better. Do too. you think this team can take the next step without adding impact free agents? This group as a whole has potential to get much better. When you know you look around the league, when Indiana drafted Paul George, they didn't know they had Paul George. He worked at it. He got better. When Miami drafted Dwayne Wade, they didn't know they had Dwayne Wade, but he worked. He 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 put in the time. He exceeded everybody's expectation. Got better. He put in the time. We don't know what we have here. The men in that locker room, we don't know yet. And it's on it's on that group to get better, to put in the time. And that's what we can't control right now. Um, the free agency buzz, the uh, draft buzz, that'll take care of itself. Um, but, you know, the men in that locker room have to get better and they will. James, so Alfred, right? Alfred and Victor have a, have a baseline together. Where does their biggest growth have to come? Is it shooting the ball? Is it learning to play with one another, building better chemistry? Shooting's a, a big part of, of, of our growth this summer. Will be a focus of ours. We don't hide. We don't hide from that. We don't shy away from it. We will become better shooters in this program. Uh, yes, that is one area. And then the second one is, is the leadership quality. You know, there, there's a there's a piece to this entire puzzle that we have to find leadership from within 
to grow and take the next step. Um, and I don't, I don't mind being the guy leading this group and, and taking that leadership role on. But as a group, where teams make major strides over a summer, is that the leadership starts to, to build from within. And those two men, Alfred Payton, Victor Oladipo, have leadership qualities that we need to see surface more and more this summer. If you're the coach of the team next year, is this a playoff team? Do you think you could lead this team to the playoffs? This this group this this team has potential to have a major impact in the Eastern Conference, and I believe in this group. This group can make major strides next year, just like we've seen throughout the Eastern Conference this year. I don't think any any of us standing here today could have said one through eight that these eight teams were going to be standing in the playoffs today. Not one of us would, would pick all eight. So. Um, we have a, a major step, you know, we have to take this summer. Where that can take us, I don't know yet, but I believe we can make major strides uh, beginning the summer. Is it, is it, 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 isn't the, the part of this coaching puzzle, especially with this group, is that you have been here and you, you have worked with these guys where they're bringing, if they're bringing another coach, it's almost that the coach has to fit with the players because this is the projection of this group that Rob has put together. Do you think that is your selling point that I know this group, that an outsider, you have to almost find a coach that fits, that you think fits with this young core, don't you? I think relationships in this league sustain organizations and I have three years of relationships with these men. That's invaluable. There's no other coach in the league that we could bring in that can replace that. And we're gonna build on that. We're gonna we're gonna keep building from where we're at today. We don't have to learn each other. They know who I am, I know who they are. We build on that, we grow we collectively get better, including myself as a coach. Uh, and I think that is a strength of mine. I love relationships, that's who I am. And that's what we will build this program on, and I won't shy away from it. Uh, this organization has a clear picture of who I am. Uh, our players know who I am, I know who they are. We can only grow from that. We will. That will be our foundation. Anthony you said something interesting last night. He said this team needs to gain a, a level of nastiness, mm -hmm. uh, almost a almost a level of kind of anger. And he said, uh, "Well, first of all, do you concur with that assessment? And how does a team get that?" Well, Evan has that nastiness, and. In the nine games Evan Fournier played for us, we were five and four. When we had Evan Fournier on the floor with us in these 30 games, we were five and four with Evan Fournier. He brings a nastiness. He brings a toughness, an edge, and we're gonna build off that. We need more of those type of players. And sometimes that comes from within, Josh. Sometimes you go plug that in from the outside and bring it in. But as a group, as a mentality, we have to change that. We have to become a little nastier, a little edgier. And I think we've done that in these 30 games. I think we got a little edgier of a team. Uh, you know, Dwayne Deadman was a part of that. But as a group, we have to we have to gain that this summer. Coach, you're under contract for next year. Would you be willing to stay here as a lead assistant for a new head coach? My focus right right now is on becoming the head coach of the Orlando Magic. That's it. Uh, I have a clear vision for what that looks like. Uh, I know where I stand with the group. That's my entire focus right now. Apologies for not knowing this sure. already, for not being here every day, but any concerns at all over going to Cuba? And what do you say to, to that uh, certain face of the Cuban population here in Florida that will recoil at the thought of going there? You know, I'm just, Excited to, to bridge uh, two cultures together and use basketball, using sport to do that. 
I'm thrilled to, to be a part of that. And, um, they have a rich history in basketball. We have a rich history in basketball. And we just want to bridge two cultures. And uh, just excited for that opportunity. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go.